An unusual candidate is running for mayor of Anchorage, Alaska. His campaign manager says he has the right disposition for that job. Yeah, he is a, a good boy, which you don't normally hear about candidates, mm. but Dave Allgood introduces us to Miko. Richard Ziggy Zeigler is a fixture here in downtown Anchorage where he lives and creates. Now this is a uh, little bit of what I do back here. All these uh, murals that you see back in here. But it's his latest endeavor. Oh, I love my candidate because I know he loves me. Well, that's important in any relationship. So campaign manager for a mayor wannabe? Politics has become uh, kind of a doggy dog kind of thing. and Maybe not a bad idea. No, maybe it's a good idea. <laughs> when he goes up and down the street, everybody wants to take pictures of him. Yeah, you can get a picture of him. So you're uh, behind the scenes? I'm behind the scenes, yeah, well, like good. a campaign manager. Good, is it, uh, so is your candidate likable? Oh, he's lovable. This mayor candidate sounds like a good boy. He's very hairy and has a great disposition. It's amazing. Uh, like I said, he loves to hug. It's amazing. And he loves to give kisses. We need more hugs. Meet Miko, the Malamute mixed canine candidate for mayor of Anchorage. Oh man, I was like, man, he's a little cutie. I like him. He's super fluffy. <laughs> just made me want to run up and just pick him up. Aw, beautiful dog. Yeah, I've never seen nothing like it before, so. So I figured, well, why not run a dog for, uh, for mayor and and for office, uh, it might change things, how people feel. Just look at this pooch politician with dreamy blue eyes that say, can't we all just get along? Who can, who can say no to a fluffy dog? I mean, that kind of, like, both sides got to come together and pet him. <laughs> Are you running on your stunning good looks? <laughs> Are you running on your stunning good looks? Is that it? There you go. Okay. My thanks. dog's running for mayor. I'm his campaign manager. Miko for mayor! And Roger here got a kick out of Miko and thinks today's politicians are full of... Politicians do uh, what the dogs usually do in your backyard. <laughs> Poop emoji. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. would say yes. <laughs> so in a town where dogs and the Iditarod rule, Miko might just be the right write-in candidate for right now. He's got my vote. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be impartial, but he's so huggable. That he's got my vote now. As perfect as Miko seems, even he's got his price. You can't influence him, I hate to say that. A treat will always get uh, him to respond to you. Wait, wait, okay. Even the ones with paws have flaws. Well, these two will always be political allies, and that's... Yes, yeah, a good boy. Yes, you are. The All Good News. Doggone it. <laughs> All I, I can... I I need to know where he stands on the positions. You yeah. know, I really need to see his platform. Well, let me tell you, if he goes for a treat, then he's going to have lobbyists. They're going to, he's going to be in their hip pocket. That's right. But I would say city council meetings would be so much more enjoyable. And our standards have gone so low.